NATO's largest exercise in decades is underway, but without the British aircraft carrier that was supposed to lead it. The steadfast defender exercises are based on fictitious Article 5 scenarios triggered by fictitious attacks against an alliance member. While this year's exercise may have been on the books for years, Russia's invasion of Ukraine prompted NATO to adjust its training accordingly. The bulk of this year's exercises focus on places like Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, and Norway. Even though Sweden is not a part of NATO yet, the country will also host some exercises. So basically the entirety of NATO's eastern flank facing Russia. With more than 90,000 troops taking part, Army General Christopher Cavoli, NATO's supreme allied commander in Europe, said the alliance will demonstrate its ability to reinforce the Euro-Atlantic area by a transatlantic movement of forces from North America. Translation, they're going to practice moving troops and equipment quickly to NATO's eastern flank with Russia, while the folks already there practice holding down the fort. The UK's HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier was supposed to lead the naval exercises, but a propeller problem sidelined the ship. However, that could actually provide some more unique training opportunities. After all, few battle plans survive in their original form after contact with the enemy. The HMS Prince of Wales is now leading the drills, which include more than 50 naval vessels, like destroyers, frigates, and of course other aircraft carriers, which themselves feature several types of jet fighters, helicopters, and drones. On land, Steadfast Defender will make use of more than a thousand combat vehicles, including around 150 tanks, 500 infantry fighting vehicles, and 400 armored personnel carriers. This year's drills are expected to wrap up at the end of May.